It is so quiet out here. Look at this thing. <sighs> Dang. Well, guys, it's starting to rain, so I gotta shut you off. <laughs> Yeah. Good job, honey! Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful that is! And this is the fifth Dasha Khan. Yeah. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back folks to another episode. This one is gonna be so sweet. Got my wife with me today and we are doing a two night backpacking trip into the back country of the Eastern Sierra. We're going about seven and a half miles out here today. And right now we're on the trail. We're on the hardest part of the trail. This is about two miles we're, go we're going up in the steepest part of this mountain. And then after that, the next five and a half miles is kind of kind of like that. So I got my fly rod, got my spinning rod. We're gonna be fishing for rainbow trout, brook trout, potentially brown trout, and also a, a new for the channel, a golden trout hybrid. So golden trout are California's state fish. They're the, one of the most, they're considered one of the most beautiful trout species in the world. Golden trout hybrids are when they, basically a golden trout makes babies with a regular rainbow trout and they create a really a beautiful hybrid. So this lake that we're gonna be camping at is known to have a population of these hybrids. So I've never caught one of these before. They're supposed to be still gorgeous fish, um, just unique in their own compared to golden trout. So right now we're just working our way up the mountain we're gonna stop at a big lake that's supposed to hold some pretty big rainbow trout. So we might do some fishing there. And then we'll hopefully make it to our destination today, this evening, so we can set up camp. And doing good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Are you ready for an adventure? Let's do this. You know how quiet that is? It is so quiet out here. It's amazing. Folks, check out this view. This is the, actually, that lake is for any locals out there. That's Lake Mary. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll get it, I'll get it on the other camera. Isn't that beautiful? Something I love guys is that as you're, as you're hiking through here, we're passing, this is the second lake that we've passed. See that down there? This trail is just, there's just, there's just lakes everywhere. There's so, so many good options, it's crazy. Pretty epic, huh? <laughs> isn't, this, isn't this crazy? Wow. So my wife and I just stopped just to rest our backs briefly. We're almost at the halfway point to the first lake. Now I wanna show you, I, I thought this was just absolutely stunning. You see these alpine trees, you know, growing on this, growing on this mountain. And then we spotted way over here, Look at this mountain. Look at how this mountain looks. It's like sandy, 
like super sandy and then you have the, but then those trees those alpine trees are still growing out there it, it just looks like a totally different ecosystem from that mountain compared to this mountain right here and check this out we're in july look at this see that up there that snow those little white blotches pretty epic this is really really small compared to my hand i know the mule deer out here in the backcountry don't get very big just because of the lack of food but that is still a small little deer okay. found some water we didn't pack a lot of water with us because we knew we were gonna encounter a ton of streams so we're actually i'm out of water my wife is almost out of water wow oh this is look at how green it is throughout here see right there guys that's that's probably a game trail right there I spotted my first fish. Let's see if I can show you. There he is. That looks like a brook trout. Yep. Wait, no, no, those are rainbows. Oh, that's, that's a brook trout. Brook trout and rainbows, folks. Brook trout and rainbows in this little mountain stream. Look at this, folks. Oh. See him? Those yeah, are brook one, trout, two, babe. Three, four, I see yeah. five. And there's another lake. Crystal blue water. Oh man. Just surrounded by mountains. We're officially at the halfway point to our first destination. Now we're probably going to stop, maybe have lunch, do some fishing, obviously. Guys, I saw this on the top of the mountain. <sighs> sorry, oh shoot, sorry, mosquitoes. Look at this, what is that? That is way up there. Wow, I'd love to know what that is. That's way up there, guys. I mean, that's gotta be at least 13, 14,000 feet, I'd think. Maybe not 14,000, but. Whew. So, got, folks, I think we're going, we're going up that. No, not. Oh, no, we're not going up that mountain. We must, we must be going up maybe this one right here. The lake that we're trying to reach it has to be, has to be behind there. Yeah, the one that's right in front of us. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, remember when I said back there that I was hoping that this mountain. Wasn't the one that we had to go up? Well, it is. <laughs> it is. There's those lakes that we just passed a minute ago. And now, we are making our ascent. Dasha's doing awesome. She's doing really good. This is not easy. You gotta watch your, gotta watch your footing. I know, this looks like a like it's a like it's a domino mountain that could just collapse at any moment. Wow. Wow. We just gotta enjoy this view for a second. Here. Oh, look at the <laughs> you can enjoy this too. Guys, I just wanted to show you real quick. See that down there? Those are called switchbacks. That's how it's easy to traverse these mountains is when he, they basically, the trail contours the mountain instead of just coming straight up the mountain. I, we were way back over there, right? And I saw this mountain that we're on right now. And I'm thinking, 
There's no freaking way we're gonna climb this. What, are you kidding? Well, we are. Switchbacks is just one of the many amazing inventions of mankind. So some hikers just told me that this is a, called a pika. Hey, he said look pika. at, oh, a pika. Oh. You see him? Isn't he cute? Is he the one that was making those noises? Yeah. All right, we've arrived at our first location. Wow. Here we go. This here is a big, big lake. All right, folks, we are heading to the very back of the lake. Right around in there, I think, is where we're going to break for lunch, do a little fishing, and see how we do. Let's get on out there. Okay, I think we found our spot. So folks, because we were on a bit of a time crunch, we're just sitting here. My wife is gonna make us some lunch and my job is to try to catch dinner for tonight. I'm not gonna hook up the fly rod. I'm just gonna hook up the good old spinning reel and just see if we can hook into something for dinner. It's overcast, so this actually might be perfect for some Rapalas. I'm gonna start off with this little uh, shad imitation Rapala. It's only like a one and a half inch. Yeah, guys, we're gonna work this deep. We're gonna work this deep shelf. It just drops right off here. Oh, just had one, just had a strike, just had a, it was only like a, maybe eight or nine inch fish. That's good. This is good. Guys, we got one. We got one. We had one on the drop. We had a fish on the drop. Oh, yes. I was just letting the Rapala sink, folks. And this guy just slashed it. Oh, this is a oh, this is a good rainbow trout. Wait, is this a brook trout? Oh my god, this is a brook trout. Oh my word. Folks, this is the biggest brook trout I have ever caught. Yeah, I just got one. Oh my word. Y'all, so this was caught on the drop. I, I was just starting to reel it in. <sighs> Babe, look at this. This is this is the, one of the biggest brook trout I've ever caught in a in an alpine lake like this. I'll show you the, what lure I was using. But check this out. On the drop. I, it, I think that's one of the most underrated ways of catching fish is just letting your spoon or your rapala sink. And sometimes just the motion of it sinking will catch you a fish. Look at that brook trout. Gosh, that's a nice brookie. Woo. My wife was a little upset with me that I didn't bring a lot of free, uh, dehydrated food. It's because I wanted to catch us fish. <laughs> Woo. Look at that. Thank you, Jesus, for the first catch of the day. There it is, folks. This is a, uh, I actually had this on my one of my most recent uh, river episodes. This worked great in a river. It's just this shad imitation uh, sinking Rapala. It's only like an one and a half inches long. It's a very small one. Guys, looks like we got some thunderclouds rolling in. Uh, we might have to pull out the rain jackets. Uh, I'm guys, I'm so I'm so happy we caught that fish. I kind of did a dumb thing. I didn't let my wife know how much food we were bringing, and I didn't bring a whole lot. I brought enough for like maybe like a day and a half. We're out here for two nights, so we have to catch fish. If you're married or if you have a significant other, make sure you let them know how much food you're bringing, just to see if they're okay with that. 
My wife was not. But I'm catching fish, so everything should be okay. All right, yeah, I like this. This looks good, let's do this. There we go, there we go, yes, yes guys, come on. Oh, what do we got, what do we got? This feels like another brookie. They tend to like, feel like a just a chunky weight at the end. Yep, it's another brookie. It's another brook trout. Woo, oh, get over there. Yeah, another brook trout. Oh, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy. There he is, guys. Yeah, he's beautiful, like super green with really um, nice pink dots. A little smaller than the other one, but perfect for eating. All right, well, we caught those two brook trout, letting it sink pretty deep. Brook trout do tend to hang out in the deeper, deeper parts of a lake. Oh, guys, on the drop again. It was on the drop. Oh, yep, this is a good fish. This is a good fish. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, this is, wow, look at that bend. Yeah, this is this is another big brook trout. I feel like this is another big, yeah, this is not fighting like a rainbow. I think it's another whole, holy mother. Oh my God. It's another brook trout, but it's even bigger than the other one. Oh my word, holy mother, this thing is huge. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I just, I, I know brook trout get a lot bigger than this, but here in these Alpine lakes, I've never, I've never caught one this big. Check this huge, look at that. Oh my word, that's a big male. See that hook jaw on that guy? Wow. Oh my gosh, guys, we don't even need to get a fourth one. This is big enough. Look at this thing. <sighs> that's a big, that's a big Alpine Lake brook trout. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at him. He's huge. And so this is a male. See how he has a, has kind of like a hook jaw there? Yeah. That is nuts. That is nuts. Yeah, my wife and I concluded that's enough for dinner tonight. She also made a really good point. I have to hike with those fish to the next lake. So that's just extra, you know, a couple pounds that I had to hike with though. So let's go have some lunch. My electronics. Well guys, it's starting to rain, so I gotta shut you off. <laughs> well, we just uh, experienced about 20 minutes or so. What do you say about 20 minutes? Yeah. About 20 minutes of rain. It was, we got, we got pretty wet. I mean, we had ponchos, so we didn't get too wet. I probably got the most wet, but that's just what happens up here in the mountains. You just never know when it's going to rain. And these big thunderclouds just came rolled right in. And we saw them an hour or so ago, but they, some darker ones came in and just dumped on us. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly gut these brook trout and then we're gonna start making our way to our final location where we're going to camp and make make our little home for the next couple of days. Wow. Woo Man, they must have a really crustacean heavy diet in this lake. Yeah, see, like these clouds in front of us, they look, that looks like rain. Man. 
that is a view you guys we finally made it it's been about maybe two and a half hours maybe close to three my wife is just this is our first time doing a hike of this caliber i mean seven and a half miles is no joke and she's doing okay i just gotta make camp and we'll start working on dinner so that she can just get recouped she she She's dragging, she, she's dragging her poles at this point. Oh my gosh, here it is. I'm gonna show you. Okay, and then? Now you just gonna yeah, you know, pull it on that side. Now. It's gonna fall out every time. <sighs> okay, we got camp set up. And now I'm starting to feel it. I'm tired, guys. Seven and a half miles. Whew. All right, so here's the deal. We got fish to cook. I wanted to show you this lake. Look at that. It's just glass right now. It'd be perfect for fly fishing. Um, we can't do any of that tonight. I still gotta, gotta cook dinner, and then I gotta get our bear cache stashed away, and then oh, probably just call it for the night. But uh, first things first, let's get eating. Okay, so we got our stove heating up. Now, this is going to be one of the quickest catch and cooks I've ever done, because we just gotta have dinner for tonight. The reason why we're not cooking at camp is because of, of bears. There are some black bears out here, and you just want to keep all food and scent away from your camp just so that you don't get a little curious Winnie the Pooh trying to steal your food. So it's gonna be super simple. We're just gonna take every single one of these guys and we're just gonna plop a bunch of butter in here, pepper and salt, and that's gonna be our dinner for tonight. Got beets, a good butter sizzle. Oh yeah. I love using pink Himalayan salt because it adds like a sweetness to the fish. I really like that. Okay, we'll just start with the big boy. Woo, it's a bit hot. I'm gonna turn that down. You need to wash off that fish if you want. Guys, look at how pink that meat is, man. Woo. Let's see. Yeah, smaller guy's done. Okay. You want a little bit more? We still have some. But, but yeah. Well, this is this is good to know. I mean, I think I think if you're gonna pack that much weight, then we shorter then uh, duck leg is like that's the. Good morning, guys. Man, after a hike like that, that sleep felt amazing. Look at that, the sun is just, just starting to come out. Oh, mosquito. Look at this creek, look at this, guys. Glass. That's what this is called. Wow. Whew. The second that that sun came out, it just immediately got warm. But as I was just getting here, I saw a nice 12 or 13 inch trout. He was pretty deep, cruising the bottom. Okay, so what we got going on here is we got this, it's called a huck hopper. This is tied again by Tim Huckabee. He says that this is good out here, so I'm just gonna give it a try. And then on the dropper, we got about two feet, and we got this little midge paragon that we were using before. <laughs> I'm so new to fly fishing, guys, but 
you know i love both kinds of fishing i really do but fly fishing is it is a whole nother it's a whole nother ball game and i just love it it's really fun See if we can do a roll cast here. Oh, one surface right out there. What I like about fly fishing is that it, it's very involved, constantly looking for where the fish are. You're doing that with spin casting too, but watching them surface and grab the fly is just freaking awesome. There's a trout right there. I'm trying to see if he'll go for this. Oh, he's he's getting spooked. These trout are really, really, they get spooked really easy. Well, I am definitely not done fly fishing today, but I do gotta catch some fish for lunch. I'm still kind of getting the hang of fly fishing. I just I just started a month ago. We'll try this again sometime tonight, but let's go switch over to the spinning rod and see if we can get some lunch. Guys, there's a, there's two right here that look like they, oh wow, one of them, I don't know what that is, but one of them definitely looks like a golden trout hybrid. One of them has like a, it's like almost white looking. That's so weird. So I didn't bring a lot of jigs because this rod is not that great with light jigs. It's hard to work with them. But, uh, we're gonna try it. And I just, I just cast this right into a school. Guys, we got one. Oh, 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 we had one. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Guys, there's a big rainbow right by my feet here. Do you see him, guys? He's right here, right by my feet. so spooky they're so spooked out man dang all right so we're gonna have some breakfast now fishing that was tough that was tough fishing this morning so basically dasha did the food count and i packed enough for today and that's it <laughs> and i did that unintentionally i kind of was like oh i'm gonna catch a lot of fish but you should always be prepared when you're exploring new territory. Tell me about it. So, after breakfast, we're going to get back to fishing.
So I'm gonna go back over by those law those big rocks, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna actually try a jig with this rod. Is that okay? Yep. Where are you going? Just back where I was. Oh my gosh, I missed it again. Ah, oh, it's so weird. They're like, they barely, they barely get it in their mouths and then it's there, it's just out. What? No, I'm using a little jig. There we go. There we go, we got one. Oh, thank God. Yeah, that's a tiny one. Wow, it's a beautiful one though. Woo! Let him go? Okay. You know what, actually, we're gonna, my, my wife has helped me made the executive decision. We're just gonna let him, let this guy go. Beautiful wild bow. I was thinking with my stomach, not my brain. That was a really small fish. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh. Wow, no, no, this is a golden trout. This is a hybrid, I think. Woo. Yeah, this is a golden trout hybrid. Wow, look at those markings. Yeah, he is a little fatter. I think I'm gonna keep this one, baby. Yeah, those barbless hooks just fall right out. Whoa, he is beautiful though. My gosh. Woo! Four more of these and we got dinner. Four more. Four more. Well, you caught two back to back, so that's awesome. You had a strike? Yeah? Honey, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Flip it up, flip it up, flip it up. Baby! Let's go! Good job, honey! Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful that is! You know what I was doing? Dasha! Waving my fishing pole just came a bit. Dasha, dude, look at how beautiful of a trout that is. Okay, do we, are we keeping him? Oh, absolutely. Look at those colors. Dasha, that's a beautiful fish. I'm gonna keep doing So that. proud of you. Oh, Honey, good so job, come on. Okay, folks, here's where we're at. We're back at camp. We're going to fish along these uh, along this shore. It's pretty rocky all along here. My wife is just taking a nap. She's kind of tired. We got to get at least three more trout to have a hearty dinner. If we get two more, that that I'd suffice with that. It's four o'clock now, and we really need to get our rest of our fish by six o'clock. So we got two hours. Let's make this happen. Guys, we got one. We just got one. Oh my gosh, we just got one. On the Rapala. On the Rapala. We're gonna flip it up. Oh, yes, baby. Yes. Oh, on that Rapala. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Lord. Guys, persistence. Persistence will win. Look at him, folks. That is a gorgeous gorgeous trout oh, thank you lord okay we got three fish we get one more light if we get one more this size we got dinner all right guys we didn't get a fourth trout but that's okay we got three three delicious rainbow trout to eat
Now, let's not forget to score our fish. Scoring basically prevents the trout from curling up in your frying pan. So you're gonna get a more even cook throughout the whole fish. And it's also gonna help the herbs that we're gonna cook the fish with get into the, into the fish so that you kind of get a more flavorful trout. All right guys, how we're gonna cook these trout today are with some fresh thyme. Now this is what I was kind of telling you guys about. This is the best kind of thyme to get. It still has the roots. It's really easy to backpack with too because it stays alive a lot longer. And so what we're gonna do is we're not gonna chop anything up. We're just gonna rip it apart in our hands and we're gonna throw it in here with the butter once we start cooking our trout. First things first, we gotta get the stove going. There we go. Yeah. Perfect, thanks honey. There's my wife, she's gonna hold the trout for us. Okay, so we're just gonna take this thyme. I mean, just, just like this, we're just gonna just sprinkle it in. Ooh. A little hot. Now for the chives. I love cooking my trout with chives and thyme. It's one of my favorite ways to cook. Almost any type of trout, really. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start laying these trout in here. Usually I pepper and salt the pan, but I don't have it right on me at the moment. So we're just gonna take these trout and we're just gonna throw them right in. We're eating these things whole. So, perfect. Got our pepper, we got our salt. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pepper the outside of the trout, just like this. Take some more of this thyme right here and just gonna sprinkle it. Back. Oh yeah. I think, I think it's ready. Look at that. Yeah. You want a nice brown on that on that skin. That's what you're looking for. Smaller guy, probably. Yeah, so all those herbs are just gonna kind of work their way into the meat. It's gonna be delicious. This little guy we're gonna put in here. Did I bring your plate over here? And this is the fish Dasha caught. Yeah. Boom. Jesus, thank you so much for this, for blessing us with some fish today, God. This was a hard ass lake to fish. My gosh. It's so hard. It's crazy. All right, guys, let's dig in. Dasha wants a fresh slice of lemon. Okay. You know what? I think I'm gonna do the same thing. Do it. Dasha, you're inspiring me. Oh. Oh, that smells amazing. Babe, the eyeball's still on there. Yep, you can actually eat the eyeballs. No, I don't Nothing goes. <laughs> then don't. Just just peck them out. No, I don't like uh, to see the head. It's looking at me. Well, Here, there's some cheeks. All oh, right, give me the head. I'll eat the cheeks. I love them. <laughs> Every nothing goes give to waste. Cheeks. Cheers. Alrighty folks, that is gonna wrap it up. We're heading out, just packed everything up. We got seven and a half miles to go now. Should get home before six, maybe seven o'clock. Thank you so much for joining my wife and I. I'm proud of us because we did it. It was our first time and seven and a half miles with 40 pounds on our back is pretty great, so. All right folks, thanks for joining. Catch you next time. Get on out there and make some memories of your own. Mm -hmm.